So those with learning disabilities may well have additional health needs and as such have uh, underlying health conditions um, which could reinforce the need for them to be able to protect their own health. And they would also be considered along with the general public who have chronic health conditions as an at-risk group to have their flu vaccine. Okay. So I'm going to run through each question with you. If right. you have any questions at all, okay. just ask me, okay? Sometimes on every like winter months, sometimes my mum, my mum always book us an appointment in a surgery. I think anyone who is a carer or cares for people who are vulnerable and have health conditions should take every step possible to protect their own health. And that means also where there is a vaccination available, such as the flu vaccine, they should really be seeking to get that. It helps actually when people are not like infected by the flu. And you're left-handed as well? Yeah, I'm left-handed. Like myself. So because you're left-handed, we'd normally give it in your opposite arm. That way if that one is sore, it's not affecting your dominant arm. Okay. okay, so what I need you to do is just roll your sleeve up a little bit, okay, and then I'll come around and I'll give you your vaccine. I know that all of you are out there are scared of the needles and stuff and blood, but when you get to, when you get to like understand it, it's just one prick, one go, and that's, you'll be fine. It does get a little bit sore at times, but, um, but I'm, I'm, I'm a whole, I'm fine. I'm fine and you get a feedback. <laughs> Your GP should be offering you that vaccine as well. Pharmacists are also offering it. The whole progress when one very smoothly, not think of a needle, just think about something else that makes you really, really happy in your mind. It's only one pick, only one pick and that's it. <laughs>